Okay, question number nine on this specimen paper, and this is all about sequences. It says the rule for the next term of sequence is multiply the previous term by three and subtract one. So you triple it, take away one. So two times three is six, minus one is five. Five times three is 15, minus one is 14. It's worth a mark. Then we need to triple this, so triple 14. Well, 14 plus 14 is 28, plus another 14 is 42. We're going to take away 1, 41, and there's two marks. The nth term of a different sequence is 5n. The first term is 5, write down the next three terms. Well, to find a second term, we need to do 5 times 2, because we put 2 in for n, 5 times 2, so it's 10. To find the third term, you do 5 times 3, which is 15. And to find the fourth term, you do 5 times 4, which is 20. So we're just substituting with the number in the sequence we want in for n. And that's why nth term is quite good. Work out the nth term of this sequence. Well, this sequence, you can see, it's going up in threes. it's going up in threes, then the one first part of our sequence is 3n. But that's not everything. We need to find out what comes before our sequence. So the step was 3. Where does it start? Well, it's obviously got to start originally at 4 at some point ago, because then when I jump through and I get to 7 for my first go. So that means 3n plus 4. So it jumps up 3, 3n, 4 comes before, plus 4. Nice. Hopefully, we should be able to get those five marks in this question.